The former Speaker of the House, Trevor Mallard, has admitted to a group of sexual violence prevention advocates that his work on consent le legislation has not been a success. The group's petition for an overhaul of consent laws was presented to Parliament today. Alexa Cook has the story. They came with banners, with placards and with plenty of passion. So we will fight. We'll fight today. We'll fight again tomorrow. <laughs> The group says current laws are failing sexual assault survivors. Having consent defined in the law would make all the difference to proving that I did not consent. The law only defines what consent isn't, there's no legal age for it, and in a trial the accused does not have to prove consent. They have to prove that they believed consent was given, not that it actually was. And that is extremely detrimental. The former Speaker of the House admitting he's partly to blame. I'm one of the people who many years ago did some work in this area where we thought we made a lot of progress and it hasn't worked. And I've seen the damage that has been done to like my friends and to my family and I guess just enough is enough. Very important to stop what's been happening. Everyone knows someone who I think has had an experience of this so just here to support them. The petition was launched in April this year and since then it's gathered more than 12,000 signatures. Signatures of people backing the reform of the consent laws. There's also cross-party support. We know this is long overdue. We have an opportunity to make right what we should have made right some time ago. A survey of New Zealand high school students found that one in four girls experienced sexual abuse and one in ten boys. This has been happening for a long time. It's about time we did something about it. The issue of consent raised at recent protests over the sentencing of rapist Jaden Meyer. We want justice! We want justice! Consent advocates hoping to achieve just that. So urge the government to reform the current consent laws. Their petition formally tabled in Parliament this afternoon. OK, Alexa, so what happens next with the petition? Well, Minister Davidson says that she wants the consent laws reformed as soon as possible so that the victims and survivors can be protected. Although she won't give a time frame for it, she said that some work on some of the issues is already underway. And now that the petition has been tabled in Parliament, it means that the select committee process can get underway. And during that process, the advocates can have their say and submissions can be made. So hopefully at the end of all of this, we will have a much clearer clearer idea of exactly what consent is and a solid definition of it that can be better interpreted by the justice system. Absolutely. A lot more to come on this story. Alexa Cook, live at Parliament.